drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos dear students let's proceed further with the hydrocarbon chapter okay so in our earlier videos we have covered the general introduction then in the previous video we did general stuff about the alkanes okay the, the structure and the nomenclature in this video we will be doing the uh, preparation of alkanes okay and in our next video we'll study about the properties physical and chemical after that we'll study about conformer so let's proceed okay. so preparation of alkanes okay uh, there are generally three methods for, uh, by which we can prepare alkane so first is from unsaturated hydrocarbon and second is from alkyl halides and third is from carboxylic acid so we'll study and examine this in great detail one by one so first by unsaturated hydrocarbon so unsaturated hydrocarbons we have to convert the unsaturated hydrocarbon into a saturated hydrocarbon so that we can get an alkane so uh, this method is quite simple and we we have to use a catalyst for example there are finely grained powder of uh, the nickel platinum or platinum is used and so it this is finely grained is so we use rennie means finely grained okay and then we will have a unsaturated hydrocarbon plus hydrogen gas okay and these uh, catalyst what they do is they provide the surface for the reaction that is they their surface becomes the reaction site where this reaction takes place and hydrogen atoms get attached to each of the carbon atom okay and finally we get a alkane so how it happens is like uh, this is say suppose the surface okay so this ethene will come and this is the carbon atom and the carbon atom again okay? and then uh, this will have a double bond then you have hydrogen atoms over here so adjacent to it two hydrogen atom of the hydrogen gas they will come and now this bond this bond is will break and this bond will start to form and finally when these bonds are formed then you, this will be deabsorbed and you will finally get the ethene okay and this is very common method used in industries and it is also known as sabatier's or sanders reaction or reduction addition of hydrogen by convention is reduction okay and uh, this method is also used in uh, hydrogenation of the vegetable oil so their uh, unsaturation is reduced so that they become palatable they edible okay so like the more uh, number of unsaturation so that will not be good for health okay that's why we reduce the number of unsaturation Okay, that's why you refine and all that vegetable oil they become expensive because of this process and the cheaper one dal and all they have more unsaturation next is from alkyl halides or alkyl halides accepts fluoride on reduction with zinc and dilute hcl hydrochloric acid will give you alkane okay so uh, like except fluoride like we can use chlorine bromine iodine and it can be reduced with zinc and dilute hcl and it will give you the appropriate alkane okay so 
from alkyl halide to alkane and again if uh, alkyl halides they are treated with sodium metal in dry ether solution then they give generally the dimer of the alkyl halide like if it is one carbon then it will give two carbon alkane if it is two then it will become four because uh, there is generally the dimerization this bromine will be removed and these two will dimerize and this process is known as Birch reaction okay and this is generally used in industry in preparing higher number of even carbon atoms because these two will dimerize so it will always give a uh, even number carbon atom next is from carboxylic acid okay from carboxylic acid there will be uh, two things either one carbon less that is decarboxylation or another one is called bo electrolysis again a uh, dimer we will get okay so like we will have to take a salt generally sodium salt or potassium salt could also be used but in generally sodium salt is used so sodium salt of carboxylic acid okay and we have to heat it with soda lime that is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide at a high temperature and after that co2 will be released okay so we get a alkene with one less carbon atom because co2 is released okay and it will be released as na2co3 okay so we are getting a alkene with one carbon less that's why it is also known as decarboxylation co2 is being released okay next in kolbe's electrolytic method here we will use sodium or again sodium or potassium uh, solution of the uh, carboxylic acid and then we'll pass electricity to it that is we will do electrolysis and with the electrolysis again co2 will be released but here we are not getting one less carbon actually will we are getting dimer of one less carbon that is basically the alkyl group which is attached to the salt alkyl group is uh, written by short name r okay so this will and we will finally get dimer of this alkyl okay so here it was methane that was cs3 cs3 so it is ethene so it is following two paths first the carboxylation and then dimerization so this is the general path which is supposed uh, to be followed in this reaction first of all sodium salt or the potassium salt of carboxylic acid it will dissociate that separation from here this the ionic bond cco minus and na plus it will separate and at anode oxidation will take place that is uh, loss of an electron okay so this will acetate ion will convert to acetate free radical and then decarboxylation will take place and that will lead to methyl free radical okay so if it is methyl then ethyl if it is ethyl then basically the alkyl free radical will be formed after releasing of carbon dioxide then in the next process since the radicals are very reactive so they will react with each other and dimerize so now 
this methyl free radical will join with another methyl free radical to form ethane okay and then so this was the reaction at anode so something should happen at cathode 2 so at cathode there is reduction okay so h2o will convert into oh minus and then h radical okay and this h radical will dimerize to form h2 so basically what is happening is in h2o the oxidation state of hydrogen is plus one okay so it will get reduced so h plus will get reduced to h2 that zero oxidation state from plus one to zero it is going so it is reduction okay so at anode it is being oxidized and at cathode it is getting reduced so basically our uh, whole process we get an alkene dimerization of the alkyl group attached to carbon atom okay thank you